Good morning. We are driving Layla to school this morning, and this is her last week at her school before we move. Oh, look at that tree. So, yeah, I just woke up. Okay. And it's still it's dreary. It got a little cold again. It's like 50 degrees. Yeah. So this is like um. I guess that like squeezed in a morning vlog because just felt like it. Okay. Anyway, Layla, how do you feel about switching schools? She wants to switch schools. You know why? Because they don't have to wear uniforms at her other the new school that she's gonna go to, and at this school they have to wear uniforms. So she gets to wear whatever she wants at the other school. And Plus she doesn't have to wake up extra early for me to, you know, drive her back on this side of town just so she can finish out the year. So she's happy about that. Plus she gets to make new friends before the summer. So that's a win. Right, Layla? Right. <laughs> I did not get any sleep last night because Sasha, the little one, was sick and throwing up everywhere and kicking me all through the night. And she slept in my bed, as usual. So I didn't get any sleep and then I had to wake up and take her to school. Poor babies. Alright. I'm going to miss this neighborhood, though. It's like so beautiful. Bye, neighborhood. This is our last week. Our dog's going crazy. Rico's going crazy, Layla. He's like, he sees all the boxes and all the stuff that's off the wall and packed. He doesn't know what's going on, so he's like looking crazy. So he won't even like run away out the house anymore. I think he thinks we're going to leave him. <laughs> no. I'm like, no, you're coming with us, okay? We won't abandon him. We adopted him. He was like a stray. So maybe he was abandoned before. <laughs> no. We're not gonna abandon the doggy. We bought him a little name a name tag that's shaped like a bone. We just have to get him a new collar because he lost the old collar. So I think I'm gonna do that today. Get the thing a collar. I feel like looking for it, plus it's old. You need a new one. He needs to keep up with the fashion. <laughs> he needs to keep up with the style. I don't know. We'll get him one he can't get off. <clears throat> yes. Are we late? We're not late. No, the cones are not there. So, no cones, I go. <laughs> anyway, they have like ballet ballet service at the school. They open the door and let the kids out in that pool. I don't know if they do that at other schools. But this is the first school they've done it at. Did they do it at your old school? Did they open the door for you? No, you have to go open the door yourself. Well, maybe at your new school to ride the bus. <laughs> no, I don't think so. It's too close to the house. They'll probably make me drive you. Alright, have a good day, baby. I love you. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Anyway. Even though I don't ever have to get out of the car, I never wear my pajamas. <laughs> you know what? I just, I don't, like, I swore... I would never be one of those people that wore their pajamas out of the house. Plus, I'm 35, and it's just not cute if you're not, like, in college or a teenager. It's just not cute anymore. I see people doing it all the time, and I do not want to embarrass my child like that. Because they actually are out walking around with their pajamas on, taking their kid to the school. Because they're walkers or something. And it's like, no, 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 I would never go out of the house with house shoes on. I will never go out of the house with 
rollers in my head or a scarf on my head unless like I'm checking the mail and going right back in I will never wear pajamas outside of my house okay we don't do that we don't do that we was raised better than that okay <laughs> plus it, when I see it it's like you know you couldn't wake up five minutes early and threw on some sweatpants and a, and a t-shirt at least come on now so for all of you out there that walk around and take your poor child to school in pajamas and scarves on your head, looking like you just rolled out the bed, and just, you know, don't do that to your child. You know, have some pride. The child will have more pride and will be less embarrassed. <laughs> you know, you don't see, I don't know, I just bed clothes are for the bed or your house and regular clothes are for the outside okay please don't do that anymore I'm tired of seeing women it's, it's women only women do this like men they don't do this I'm, I'm, I don't understand why it's just women especially um, why do women do this I mean I can understand the scarf if you hadn't done your hair at least put some clothes on and just keep the scarf on why you gotta have a whole you know nighttime ensemble on. I don't know. Anyway, so if you're one of those women, you know, that's great that you're confident enough to leave your house looking crazy. But think about your child. <laughs> you know, don't embarrass your child. That's that's a no-no. I, I would be embarrassed if my mom came out the house in her, in her pajamas or whatever. And sometimes those pajamas are inappropriate, you know they're way too small or showing a little too much and no one needs to see all of that okay I mean no makeup and hair not done is bad enough with regular clothes on don't embarrass a child further by wearing pajamas oh, I always love the way she dresses there's this lady that lives right there she's like I don't know if, I don't know what they do but she's always dressed like totally fashionable she must have a good job. Every time I pass her house, she's like styling. I'm like, nice, nice. With me, I really don't have to dress up because I don't go to work or anything. So I kind of just wear whatever I want. I wear what I want. I just, I just actually, you know, bagged up a bunch of my old work clothes, like suits and stuff, to give away. Pull in my garage because. I will never work in that industry again. I will never need a suit again. I think I saved one just in case I have to go somewhere and the choirs, you know, a little suit. But, uh, that's it. Yeah. I took all that away. Uh, I have so many heels. I don't even wear my heels anymore because I'm so tall anyway. It's like, I just wear flats and sandals now. If I wear heels, I'm like 6'3". So it's not really. I mean, I used to wear heels when I go when I go out. And now it's like I don't go. I don't go out. I just go out of the house. <laughs> Y'all see my Hello Kitty ring? That's cute. Can y'all see that? Anyway, I keep it like as a decoration in my car. Let's see if y'all don't look at me too close. Y'all might get heart attack too early. <laughs> anyway, that's it for this vlog. Peace.